So today is March 30th. Um, today I had a kind of long day. I, I started out at 6 in the morning, went to, I got picked up by the ambulance, and I got taken down to the hyperbaric chamber um, at um, the other side of town. And then, um, I don't know, I had a kind of hard morning, and then I'm um, just trying to wrap my head around, trying to move my legs and everything. And then so I got in the hyperbaric chamber, and they put this like plastic bag around your head, and it's kind of like tied to your neck, and then it's really claustrophobic. And so I was doing good in the first like maybe 30 minutes, and then I started thinking about my daughter and all this all this stuff, and I started freaking out. And I like thought I was gonna. I didn't think I could make it through. I almost like wanted to rip that thing off my head because I was like, just freaking out. So I was trying to calm myself down, and then once my mind started wandering, um, I started freaking out. I had to really try to concentrate to not freak out. And then after the after um first half hour of it, I was like didn't think I was gonna make it through. I was like, oh my god. And then um then I just started sweating and just sweating. And then I thought I was gonna pass out. I was like freaking out. And then finally. I calmed myself down, and then, then the two-hour mark came up, and they stopped the thing and said, "Okay, we're going back up." And I was like, "Whew!" Barely made it through that, but but I don't know, but I was so worn down from that. By the time that ambulance, and then the ambulance driver came and starts asking me all these silly questions and things that have been asked a million trillion times before, and I was frustrated. And then I got back to the hospital, and I was so frustrated I couldn't do my little physical therapy that the lady was waiting for me there. So I um. I didn't do the morning therapy, and I, I cruised with the family and kind of calmed down. And everybody, everybody, the whole family was there, so it really helped me calm down a little bit and relax. And I know it was hard on the family because I was just freaking out. But, um, and then, and then I um, had my um, second um therapy, which was it was tough. Um. So they took me downstairs to the therapy room, and then Ryan and Glenn and my brother were helping me out. But for some reason, for some reason I keep thinking that I'm just going to walk. So one of these pair of little bars, and he said, oh, you're doing super good, but for me it seemed like it was terrible. But... I don't know why I'm crying because I shouldn't because I guess I took a few steps and walked a little bit and and they were super stoked but I was like fuck it's gonna be hard but but then I finished that and then, and then I did some exercise on the table and they, everyone was really happy that they thought I did so well and so I guess it was good I didn't think I did that well but <laughs> that was good and then then I got to come out and then kind of relax and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of figure out where I'm going to go next, like as far as a therapy place. And, hang on a second. Okay, so, yeah, so the, the therapy, I finished the therapy off, came up and I started searching for a new place that I want to I gotta go for somewhere for first. I thought I was gonna go straight back to Hawaii, but um, my wife said she talked to some people in Hawaii. And they said maybe it's better if I spend a couple more weeks over here. Maybe not right here, but going back in a hyperbaric chamber that's close to a. They call it an acute rehab center. So I'll be looking around and talking. So I think it's probably better I spend at least a, a, a week or two more. I don't know if I can say more than two weeks, but that's somewhere around here. So even um. Looking at places and we're kind of figuring out where I'm gonna go, probably in the next two or three days, and then um, yeah, make that going. And then I've been just so crazy here, so I, I made my family kind of take me out. But, okay, it's kind of how I freaked out the hyperbaric chamber. It's like building myself up, something like that. So I gotta learn to not be so weak. Crying, but.
So I talked to my family into taking me off sneaking out again. <laughs> Cause because um I just some um, I felt like I had to just get away just even for a sh small bit and then I just got kind of frustrated because it's everyone was like it's made a big deal of it and it was, it was really me probably making a big deal of it but but so I'm sorry to my family for that but I felt like I needed it um, and then then I came back into the hotel into it's not a hotel back into the hospital and then um. And then that was it. And then I was cruising in here um, for a little bit. And then um, and then my daughter, and, um, my niece, made this funny skit. It was super cool because they made me really laugh. I think I pour that. Today's March 30th, so I mean, tomorrow, tomorrow's April Fool's. Maybe I'll wake up and it'll be a big joke. I don't know. But, yeah, just working through it day by day. And that's about it. I'll let you guys know how tomorrow goes.